Hey, all right. It's time for Super Beard Bowl Season 3. It's the same, but different. You'll see what I mean. This month, the bros are showing each other some games that they think that each other would like. How well does Brett know Alex? How well does Alex know Brett? Find out this week. Hey. The next public vote begins Monday, March 21st. So get involved or get dissolved, you turkey. <laughs> Hey man, welcome back to the Beard Bowl here on Super Beard Bros. My name is Brett and I'm a beard bro. Oh yes. That's Alex. Hi. And and, and this is Dusk. Dude. Because this is the game that Alex chose for me to play. Why? Why would you do that, Alex? I was so hoping that the titles, the epic title screen music would like somehow magically reset to like background our our intro. But uh Dusk, okay, here's the deal. I know you love Doom. Uh I, could, I do. I, I I know you love like a nice old school nineties fleshy back back in the day style shooter i play oh oh i, I played okay. dusk i played dusk like uh on i think it came out on switch not too long ago and i gave it a shot because it was not too expensive and i'd heard really good things about it and it turns out this game fucking rules so uh-huh. uh okay yeah i you know i know I, I i was thinking back to that time and we were playing that super hard level on doom 2 and how fun that was and i and i feel like this is this is a cousin to that. It's a quake like. So you think I like old school shooters is what you're saying? Yeah, I do. A, spe- right. a very specific mindset and style of old shooter. All right. Well, let's fucking try it. I mean, because look, they got I don't know who that is down there. It looks like <laughs> looks like Mr. Dink in a kink gear. You know Douglas, what I mean? Run my shears through me, Douglas. They got me, Douglas. Please don't touch the toads. The game's it's called Dusk, but it's actually just Mr. Dink trying to say Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Intruder mode? What? Is there fucking invasions in this game? I don't know what intruder mode is. Well, I'm turning it the fuck on. Wait, click the app. The, the mag. The, 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 yeah. Oh, with sickles on. Oh, okay. Man. Medium. What do you think I should do? Hard difficulty? I mean, look, I always say to people, play normal, and then they pick, like, death to us all mode. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, I missed that. Was there a death to us all? I want to pick that now. <laughs> Hull Schult. The scariest time of day. I think you're going to dig this. All right. Is this hard? This game is hard in a way that games are not often hard anymore. Kill the intruder. Oh. Oh, am I the intruder? I am the intruder. Okay. Oh my god. You shouldn't have come back here, Douglas! <laughs> Check out my new oh. chainsaw! Is this like, am I supposed to die? Because I'm not gonna. Like, I'm not gonna make it easy for him if it's one of those. Fuck you. Ah! So they do bleed! Fuck you, Mr. Dink. I like these sounds. I like these sounds for the same reason that I like the sounds in uh, Donkey Kong Country. Mm. Something real, something real satisfying about that. Lift the bucket. Put down the bucket. Ving Rhames' children's book about buckets. (laughs) Everybody, we're gonna learn about receptacles today. Receptacles. (laughs) Receptacles. <laughs> That's what it is. Receptacles with Ving. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh man, this is crazy. I love the visuals. This is what happens when you have dual income, no kids, man. If you love if you love uh if you love like, you know, the nineties or like having a PC to play video games on. <laughs> When you were in middle school, this is the game for you. See, I didn't. I didn't have those things. Uh, I was a pure console gamer back then. Me too, uh, honestly. But I, I definitely, most of my friends whoa. wanted to play PC games. Get out of here! Did Fucking you go intruder on? No. You just happened to be a sickle boy in this one, huh? Oh, but there is a gun Maybe over they there. Just start you with sickles. Uh, looks like there's a gun over there. This seems like 
should be able to grab this for health, no? I think you might be over max. Oh. Uh, kind of want to switch back to the sickles, you know what I mean? I feel it. it I mean, I that's a hilarious oh. weapon in a shooting game. Get bodied, uh, spirit of the forest. Ew. Oh, it's a nematode is what it is. <laughs> is this what happens when, like, Doug Funny has a heart attack in his fifties, and he like he's on the he's technically dead for about two minutes, but was, to him this is what he experiences. I was forty eight years old when I started hearing the worms crawling in my head. <laughs> your feet, Douglas. Would you spend your entire life in fantasy? This is what waits for you after you die. Mister Dink gets some new thing that he bought from the Sharper Image, but it's like indescribable. Drives everyone <laughs> mad. <laughs> In Bluffington. <laughs> it's a phony Cthulhu, Douglas. <laughs> Something below is calling us. Everybody yeah, starts turning Doug into funny. like Sam Neill from uh, Event Horizon. Oh, my God. What a reference. You know exactly uh, what I mean. S -s Cuts oh. on the face. Crazy back, look in Douglas. the eyes. There's a lot of movies with <laughs> Sam Neill like that. What's the, is the one, uh, what's the one where he's the author? Oh, why am I sunking into the floor? Are you a half man? Did he take my legs out? Or are you crouching? Might be crouched. Didn't mean to. You're crawling on the floor, what? Douglas. Why, why am I in the floor, Mr. D? Get off the floor, Douglas. Why am I in the floor? Are you just like way tinier than we thought? What? No, I wasn't like this a minute ago. Did I like glitch? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you so low? Well, maybe I'm regressing to my, you know, 11 year old self when I first met Mr. Ding. Ah. Oh. <laughs> like a Why mouse. are you so far down in the your, ground? Your and you <laughs> What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? What are you? Bro? Just a little. You just a little torso now? <laughs> it's a gremlin. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, whoa. The real question is, is this supposed to be like this? Not believer. Oh, oh, oh. Tony Todd, is that you? Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. <laughs> ah, ba 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 Oh, he look at that. like a Spyro enemy. Sweet to the sweet. Honestly, you know what I'm most excited about with this game? What? I think that we've been... Oh, what a reference. Uh, <laughs> I think that we've been inundated with... Uh, you know, independent video games yeah, that man. get bodied, sir. Hell yeah. Um, that that emulate the uh, eight bit or sixteen bit style. Yeah. But like, you know, I, I love that we're now like dabbling in um po polygonal uh independent games. I love know? that that's like what the hipster video games look like right now. It's so funny to me that like PS One is like the ish. <laughs> That dude flew into space. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, man. What? Did it. he just turn into nothing? Damn it. I love that you like T2 the gun every time. Fuck yeah, man. So when do I get enough health back to, uh, you know, stand up? <laughs> Are you sure you're not like prone? <laughs> Dude, if I am, then I move just as fast prone than I, as I do walking. Oh, word? Crouch while move? How? I'm pressing C. Hold on. Look, feel, feel? Weapons, blah, 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 blah. Input settings. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Controller, I want controller layout, but for it, it doesn't matter. It, you know what? It, why would I need to slide? I'm I'm so low to the ground. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you can like, <laughs> maybe you can like when you load the game or something, it'll just put you back to human Bitch. proportions. Maybe that is some serious lifting power. I mean, you're still picking yeah, I, up the stuff. I, what's going on with morale, bro? What's gonna happen when that's down? Heretic. It's pronounced heretic. Did you ever play Hexen? A bag of gems? 
Uh, yes, I owned Texan, and it confused the hell out of me. Texan? Yeah. Texan or Hexen? Oh, you've been saying Texan this whole time, haven't you? No, I've been saying Hexen. So have I. Yeah, we're talking about the same game. I thought you were saying Texan. Did you ever play Hexen? Uh, yes, I owned Texan, and it confused the hell out of me. Absolutely not. However, now I want a first person shooter that looks like this. That's <laughs> called Texan. Actually, upon saying yes, oh, upon saying that out loud, no, I don't. I don't want that, dude. Your morale went up, and you got tall again. I'm not tall, am I? Aren't you? You're not on the ground. Yeah. Oh man, you're right. What happened? Is it? Oh. Do you think like, like Doug Funny? shrinks into the ground as his morale gets low. Oh, he's going to hell or something? He Slowly? could. He could. Or, or maybe more just... like he's trapped in, like, you know, Quail Man is, is dead. Fucking Jack Bandit drawn and quartered. This is the last of his personas. The fucking persecuted one. And, <laughs> and, and, and even that one is slowly sinking into nothingness. You know what I mean? The, like, weird like Eldritch Doug fantasy. Yeah, this is like th this is a persona Doug Oh man, how do I crouch now? What happened? This wasn't what I wanted. It was like crouch to slide or something, how? Yeah, it was like run. Oh. oh. Nice. Not bad. Yeah. No, there were six secrets in that level and I found none? Dude, don't you just feel like a baby covered in your own puke right now? <laughs> no, Alex. In fact, look at how quickly I'm moving on, having fun. Shout outs to every, all the puke covered babies out there. We that exist. Was me. I'm sure I did it. We exist. We're out there, dude. This the, these guys are the problem because I can dodge the uh, the, the fireball six 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 KKK members oh, shots no problem. <laughs> you know, <laughs> get by. I feel like this game has the potential to be like insanely tough. Yeah. Time to break up the party. Man, I love being a fucking party pooper. Are you kidding me? Oh! Full auto? Fast fire what? totem. Full awesome. Auto. Awesome. Oh, I see. And then my heart rate slows back down. That's cute. But your morale is just dropping, dropping, dropping. Where's Patty? Oh, I, just, I just realized the the whole game is full auto this whole time. Yeah, but like, I just have to hold the button. Yeah, but you're not as fast as you were when you had the fast fire totem, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, this game, I played it as much as I played it all in one day. That's the kind of game this is to me. I'm having a ball. Like. There's something about the movement speed that screams old school shooter. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing that's fun about Doom is like that idea of like, you're always moving. You're like, yeah, yeah. it just feels good. It feels like it, it feels more like the lobby scene from the Matrix than like any like AAA shooter, like, huh, like any Call of Duty type shooter, you know? Because when you focus on making it too real, it like loses some of the like silly fun of it. Yeah, there's something to be said about this, you know, hyper, hyper violent, stylized bullshit. This feels almost like cutesy or silly, you know what I mean? Because it's so I, I, stylized. I think in retrospect it does, but like, I think back in the day, the oh shit. Yeah, like like I think back actual in the day, doom. These yeah, these guys would were shooting for realis realism. Yeah, you know? actual doom, actual quake. Yeah, of course. But this obviously this came out in like 2018. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Whoop, my bad. I think that the guy who made this actually like made a remake of Rise of the Triad. Huh. Have you ever played Are Rot? Are you kidding me? No, what do you what do you think? Of course. <laughs> no this one is, has this, the this, is this type of this is this type of game. Though if I had two shotguns, my morale would be higher, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Reggie Bannister. This is sick. What is that, though? We're going to find out. It looks like Nuka Cola. Get bodied. Shout out to that one dude who came back here and wasn't paying attention and got killed by that dog. <laughs> God, 
goddamn nematodes. You think it hurts? There's something I in there. Did you see that? What was that? Morale, nice. Oh. It's a bag of gems, but honestly, to me, it looks like a bulb of garlic. Oh, I both would raise my morale, to be honest. They're, okay, what am I doing wrong here? What? I think you have a hundred health. I think the I think the uh, I see I see I think the blue health the purple health goes brings your health up up Man opening this farmhouse Was just giving me left for dead vibes like back in the day left for dead vibes. Oh, no, 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 ooh, no ooh, ooh. Man these guys are resilient Wow, my stomach is like actually grumbling. Ooh. I gotta get Man, out of the house fun. more often. So, uh, this is the point at which I just realized, like, yeah, I'd play more of this because this is just mindless to me and it's fun to be here. You know what I mean? I feel like, yeah, I, I wouldn't say Brett is like the guy who loves all the shooters. I don't think that's exactly Fork. what my vibe was on this. But there is something to be said for these super fast 90s, like, weirdly like early 2000s chunky brutal designed you get what i'm saying there's something this well, i feel you know, like this speaks honestly, to you the the part of the part that speaks to me as you put it i just love things that are demonic and shit you know yeah that too yeah i yes yes like not quite trauma but not well, quite you know Fangoria, like you know, it's like fun. It's I light. love things that are themed after, like you know, demonology and Judeo-Christian shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm there. It's fun. We? Oh, oh my hello? god! Get bodied. Is that not the shotgun? Is that a different gun? No, it's not. Oh, look at this morale you're about to get. Whoa! Yeah. Me wanty. Do you do like more damage? Rivets. What's a rivet? Wonder if they're like that collectibles or if they're just like ammo. What the hell was he doing here? Chilling. Just having a smoke break on the porch while it's raining. Spreading hate. You know how it is. Oh my god. <laughs> is this is this the room? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> what about Easy this? Easy peasy. Oh, it's this the same is also room? the room. Oh, but what are oh, those? Wait a minute, dude. I so this person cares about money. So this is like what a Doug Funny who's Doug like Money, grown dude. Up next to Mister <laughs> Doug Money. <laughs> this is a Doug Funny who's grown up next to Mister Dink for so many years, and like has like kind of taken the very expensive motto and kind of had it warped in his head. He forgot why he needs the money, but he knows he needs it in an almost crazed way now. Right. As he murders more and more of the cloned dink scarecrows that hit, that have that his unholy invention have brought forth into Bluffington. Oh, Douglas! <laughs> if anybody's gonna right. do that, you know it's gonna be Mr. Dink. It's true. Go into the corn oh, maze! Yeah. Yay! Love a good oh. corn maze. Yeah, that guy didn't. He thought he did. He got turned into maze. You know what I mean? Like, like maize. Like yeah. Like the cornmeal. Bodied. I'm waiting for these scarecrows to, you know, come alive. Do something. Dude, I've been feeling that way. Oh! Mother. Call it. Dude, Scary he doesn't give a me by far. <laughs> Dude, this is scary the scarecrow from far. fucking Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark right there. As Harold, man. That was so. Oh, that was so scary. Like, just the way that he walked. It was like something out of The Purge. You know what I mean? I love when the mechanics of a game are so simple that they do actually communicate feelings to you. Like, things like survival horror having, like, not that much ammo available. Stuff like that. Uh-huh. That is, like, so viscerally, viscerally, like, shown to you by the game's mechanics itself. That is so dope to me. Yeah, yeah. They manipulate the player's emotions uh, deftly by just like doing something very simple with the gameplay. Yeah. They like deny you ammo that you really want because like, no, you're supposed to have this few ammo. Yeah, just know? jacking up that scarecrow's health like a little more than ever makes sense is like awesome because it makes but, uh, you feel what, powerless. What I appreciate the most is the fact that there were like three or four scarecrows, you know, being real scarecrows before that to like make us 
yeah, lull you into that yeah. false sense. Exactly. I love that too. Yeah, really cool. A little bit of plant and payoff. This game is oh, also shit. just worth playing. It's super fun. That's Yo, three. It music. has three episodes. Wait for it. Yeah. Popcorn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah. yeah. There he goes. Right. Wow. So there's like physics going on. Oh. <gasps> what is that? The hallowed health. health. Oh, you're at 175. And your morale really goes down if you take hits, huh? I guess so. Makes sense. Oh, Everybody's this Everybody's got a plan until they fucking get hit. Oh, oh. that morale. Ah. The spread is kind of crazy. He just took like 40 morale from you. Well, a scarecrow did just shoot at me. I wouldn't be jacked about it, but I would still believe that I could make it. <laughs> I still have all the diamonds that I had before. It's not like the Hi. scarecrow's taking my jewels. This guy, come on, this guy's got to get wrecked. This is like in hey, Horizon hey. Zero Dawn. Look at that. Come on, bud. Come on! I also like this game because it has kind of a unique, uh, not that unique, but it has kind of a unique uh, aesthetic to it. I mean, I mean, uh, the fact that this looks like a PS1 game alone makes it stand out. Yeah. I just love a scary farm. The current, uh, are you reading the Aliens comic or Alien or whatever? No. Like no. Marvel Comics is doing like an Alien series ongoing. Uh -huh. And uh, it's by Philip Kennedy Johnson, the same guy who's writing Superman right now. It's pretty good. Okay. And uh, the current one is like he did one short story already. It's like an anthology series. He did one already that was awesome that was like on some ships. The new one is like aliens on like a like this type of like a like a like a oh, okay. old school like Amish Whoa. space Amish. Yeah. Co colonists and shit. Kind of similar to Alien 3, but like just done like having a little bit more fun with the aesthetic of an alien on a on like a old timey American farm. That's cool. Hey, is that a boss? What the fuck? Is that a boss? What what the fuck is this? Why the, the best part is the fact that they made him face the wall. The last you know? boss of this level is just a real scarecrow again that is too scary to turn your back on. <laughs> real talk the, though. They yeah. crucified him and then they made him face the wall at a weird angle. Like that's the most disturbing part of this. Then they built a house you know? around him. Alright. Love that. Woo! No problem, baby. Yeah, this game is real good on the Switch. It looks it looks low quality enough that the, the Switch can run it pretty cleanly. Not bad. Man, no secrets no at all. Se what are the secrets in this game? I thought look for like? sure. I thought for sure that the little bag of jewels in the water was going to be a secret. Yeah, and they were like, "No, you're yeah. supposed to find that stupid." Yeah. Anyway, that is Man. that is dusk. What did you think? Uh, like I said, this is something that I could definitely see myself playing because it's what's wrong with you? It's so charming. Like it's uh, it's 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 almost fucking whimsical with 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 how nostalgic this type yeah, of game it is. Nails for me it right point. on. Did you see the Did you see the PS One Bloodborne? Uh, yeah, I've seen some footage of it. Yeah, yeah, that that uh, I think is out now, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. You guys can check I'm, that out. I'm just too. hype. I'm just hype on the fact that people are into this Sega Sa like coming out of the Sega Saturn. I'm just feeling glad that like low res, low poly textures are are in the mix. Yeah, I really appreciate the aesthetic. I appreciate like the the motif of demons and shit. And especially like you said, it's not just demons, it's like demons on a farm and shit. That's just hyper specific, which I appreciate. And uh <laughs> yeah. and the gameplay feels great too, because like there's not that much special so far about the gameplay. You can just jump in and shoot, and it's great. It just yeah, has to it has fun. to be exactly what it is pretending to be, and it is. <laughs> yeah. It has to nail it Couldn't perfectly it for me. Myself. It has to. It has to nail it perfectly for me to buy it, and it totally does. Like I just played uh, Quake when that came out on like PS5 and shit, the original Quake. And going wow. to this after that, I was like, wow, this really nails the vibe of like a Quake. Mm. Yeah, there it is, baby. It's dusk. Next time on this show, Alex is playing something else. 
oh yeah hopefully we'll see you guys there don't 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 believe in magic don't 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 be so quick to walk away don't 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 believe in magic we gotta play the game